Why SK you can get kidney stones from eating salty foods? I thought I was safe from getting kidney stones because I basically only drink water. However it wasn't enough water and eating a lot of salty food caused me to get a kidney stone. Why why SK previously I thought only people who drank soda constantly would get kidney stones, but I was wrong and hoped to save someone else from making the same mistakes. A source. The first time I learned I had a kidney stone I was passing four at the same time. They were caused by the sodium in the top ramen I was constantly eating cause I was super poor at the time. Big ouchie. Do I have to worry about everything now? So scary I love my salt. How old were you when this happened? I first got kidney stones when I was 10. Mine were caused from consuming too much dairy. I will never forget them, besides the pain, because my stepmom kept telling me it was gas and all I needed to do was fart. Was definitely not gas. I cycled creatine for like a year without stopping. Got my first job as a freshman and wasn't allowed to drink water at the cash register at a grocery store fuck you, Debbie. Piss trust one day and then shrugged it off. Next week was the worst week of my life. I prayed God would kill me to let it end Lamau. Moral of the story, fuck Debbie and fuck creatine. Also, a lot of countries have high pH amounts in their tap water which causes kidney stones. Or drinking too much power a true story. Also, too much spinach, grimacing face. I went to America last year and feasted on the unlimited breadsticks in Olive Garden, next morning my kidney stone was trying to force its way around my kidney, but not out. Worth it. Check out a product called Litholite, it helps prevent stones by adjusting the pH for your kidneys. Of course talk to a urologist first, but it's OTC. Drinking some lemon juice is recommended to counteract kidney stones. Can confirm also can get from drinking a black tea every day. Serious question what's your lifestyle like? How active are you? What's a daily intake of food look like for you? Generally curious. Why SK soda counts as salty food? Please 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 take care so you don't have to go through this. Two weeks of agonizing pain, the worst I have ever experienced in my life. If you haven't had a kidney stone, trust me, you do not want to experience it. I'm sure anyone else who has been unfortunate enough to experience this would agree. You can also get it from drinking water if the tap water in your area is hard. Example KY has a relatively high concentration of calcium in its water due to natural filtration through limestone deposits. Makes the bourbon tastier but also means the state has a higher recurrence of kidney stones even among those who limit soda and junk food. As someone with autonomic dysfunction, this is one of my biggest fears. My electrophysiologist and cardiologist have me on a very high sodium and electrolyte diet. Just waiting for the axe to fall. Me eating potato chips while reading this. Up I worry a lot about getting kidney stones because I used to drink a lot of pop. Now I have one every other day or so and I still worry lol. What kind of diet were you eating up? Lots of fast food? Frozen meals? May I ask roughly how much sodium you were consuming? As well as a myriad of other reasons. What foods were you eating a lot out of curiosity? How do you prevent or stop or anything that could delay this from happening? LOL. Yep. Only thing that works for me to prevent kidney stones is a diuretic. Helps me piss out salt instead of calcium. Now I have less bloat water retention and my kidney stones are staying small instead of becoming chonkers that require surgery every six months. Didn't matter how much water I drank, I got kidney stones more often without the meds. I hear about stones so often from colleagues or patients. I'm so grateful to have never had any. My mom used to get them often when I was growing up. It's also part genetic. If you have a family member who has had often gets them you have an increased risk of having them at some point. 
As someone who has had kidney stones that required surgical intervention for removal, I can honestly say I have experienced hell. I knew that it wasn't going to kill me, I just wanted to die to end the agony. It was the third bout with stones that needed the intervention. I eat spinach almost every day, eat anything and everything I want to I never drank sodas, and I haven't had another bout bout with kidney stones in seven years. The only change is I now drink 2 L of water daily. Problem solved. YSK you can get kidney stones from a lot more than salty foods. You can also suffer from bland food if you don't eat salt. I'll take my chances. But how much salt is too much salt? Like I always add extra salt to my dishes at home but that is only because my family adds very little salt to them to the point where it's tasteless. I don't add any extra salt whenever I eat out or elsewhere. Also I already have kidney stones. High intake of vitamin C can also do the trick. I learned that the hard way when I was taking a lot of supplements. Worst pain of my life. Beer is supposed to be good for kidney stone prevention. If you have hard water coming out of your tap, that can also be a culprit. I had kidney stones once. I'd rather get shot than have them again. That's why I use message, flavor of love and life. As a student who primarily eats ramen, I'm just waiting for the find out stage of fuck around and find out. Spinach, tea, salt, anything with oxalate I guess. I have passed two and have one chilling in one of my kidneys now. I've read online that taking K2D3 can help reduce the chance of stone formations. The salty food didn't cause the stones the lack of water did. You should also know that some medications are associated with an increased risk of kidney stones. A well-known culprit is topiramate best known as a migraine preventative. If you take topiramate, discuss this risk, as well as your fluid intake and diet with your medical team. And whenever you are prescribed a new medication, review all of the materials for warnings and potential interactions. You kidney not? You are not kidding. My older brother quit drinking soda in his teens and basically only drinks water all the time. Motherfucker sweats like a pig from the little's physical effort too so he drinks like 3 liters or more per day. Got kidney stones in his 40s. I'd the specific type but he only got it once and it has been some 3 years since. Okay, but in Japan you never drink water, not like Americans do, soy sauce is in everything. Yes, kidney stone rates are high in Japan, but not USA high. The US rate is double Japan's. Now I know why most of my Asian co-workers here in Japan get kidney stones all the time. In my case, in the advice of my urologist, who also researched and did studies, I started adding lemon juice to my water. Later I alternated with apple cider vinegar. After years of kidney stones, multiple ER visits, a four-day hospital stay and surgery, I have never had them again. But also get off the packages foods and high carb diet. It all contributes. Really there is nothing wrong with salt, especially real salt. Your body needs it for everything. Check out Redmond's salt, or Celtic sea salt. Well shit thanks dude. My thinking was literally the same as yours before I read this post. I love tea and everyone warns me they're coming at some point. That's really informative, will have keep an eye on my salt intake. 90 of Americans consume too much sodium. Anything in a can or jar is usually pretty bad, one single can of soup can be more than 100 of your daily recommended amount. Also, if you don't watch your sodium now, you will soon because you're not now. This is malarkey. Previously I thought only people who drank soda constantly would get kidney stones, but I was wrong and hoped to save someone else from making the same mistakes. Somehow you're wrong in both scenarios lol. It's insane to me this is a YSK, for me kidney stones were basically made out of salt, at least that's usually what I've heard from people who got them. Thought it was common knowledge. Or drinking pee.